Aircare Solutions Group was started in 1997 and we operate a family of companies that serve the corporate aviation industry worldwide. We've got six companies underneath the Air Care Solutions Group umbrella that deal exclusively with corporate business aviation. We operate Fax Training International, which does emergency procedures training. Access Emergency Line. Assistance. Access Assistance has a 911 system for worldwide medical and emergency assistance around the world. Air Care International is the medical and safety equipment arm of the company. Air Care Cruise does contract placement for pilots and flight attendants. ASG Interactive, which is developing online and distance-based learning. Quality Resources is an affiliate company which does manuals, technical writing, and uh, certifications for corporate aviation. And EMTA, Emergency Medical Training Associates. That company does training for safety, emergency, OSHA compliance, uh, homeland security uh, for land-based companies that are aviation oriented. Within Air Care Solutions, we have fax training, which is the cornerstone of our company. It focuses specifically on the crew member emergency and safety procedures. You will receive training from highly credentialed instructors that are passionate about what they do. Not only do they provide education, they do it in an entertaining way. They give you an experience that you can't get anywhere else. This is what Air Care Solutions is all about. FACTS Training is a unique human factors based program to emergency services training. We provide corporate air crews real life scenario situations and equip them to deal with emergencies. We have full size, full motion cabin class training simulators that I can take and put a student in and create a realistic training environment. Not only will we talk about this stuff, but we will actually do it and they'll get to experience really a true emergency. This is FAC-6, this is our flagship simulator. Um, we built it from scratch as we have all of our simulators. It simulates multiple different types of aircraft from Gulfstream 2, 3, 4, G5, uh, Boeing Business Jets, Challenger, Global Express, Hawker, Lear Falcon. Now we've got multiple exits inside, full three-point hydraulics so it's complete motion, um, surround sound with all the appropriate soundtracks for the various emergencies. Uh, we can fill it full of smoke and, and simulated fire, full decompression with mask drop, everything. All of the equipment that we utilize in our classes is real stuff. So these students actually get to utilize all the real equipment from oxygen systems all the way to signal flares and water emergencies. Everything's real. The whole point of the emergency simulator is to, as realistically as possible, simulate whatever could possibly go wrong in the real airplane. Uh, crews are going to mess these procedures up, especially if they've never had previous training. The point of this is to mess it up here when we're six feet off the ground instead of at 35,000 feet. Uh, we go in and we can simulate anything that can go wrong from a decompression to a uh, simple land evacuation procedures because we've run off the end of the runway, uh, in-flight firefighting, in-flight medical emergencies, anti-encounter terrorism, whatever the case may be. And then the procedures that go along with it to get them safely out of the aircraft. One of the more important simulations we do uh, has to do with in-flight fire and smoke training. We do this several ways. Uh, we have a fire training system that is utilized by fire departments across the country that lets these students experience what real fire is like. Uh, additionally, in the simulator itself, I take and put smoke in there so they not only have to get their cabin and passengers ready, they've got to do this in a smoke-filled environment. We've got some equipment that will accurately simulate going to altitude. Many people have no idea what it would feel like should they start to get a lack of oxygen in the aircraft and it can overcome you rather silently. I can take them up as high as 30,000 feet so they can feel the effects of a decreased amount of oxygen in their blood to simulate hypoxia. We take a unique approach in our medical training. Uh, it's one of the more important aspects of our course. 
not only do we do basic things like CPR, bloodborne pathogens, and AED, but we take these and put them on the airplane. It might be easy to deal with and utilize some of the equipment, like an AED, in the classroom, but you take that and put it on a corporate aircraft, there are some other things to think about, and that's what we address. When we get to the water, I want to, as realistically as possible, simulate what could happen to them in a ditching scenario. So I, I typically start out by blindfolding them. So it could either be at night or they have fuel in their eyes and their, their eyes are no longer usable. We will get them in and out of life jackets in the water, make them don the life jacket in the water so they see how difficult that is. Uh, get them in and out of uh, one of several different life rafts that we have. Uh, potentially make them pull an unconscious person into the life raft. Uh, right a life raft if it's deployed upside down and then in and out of trash bags to, to demonstrate the thermal proficiency of trash bags at holding the heat in around you in cold water, and then end up by putting them in our inverted underwater dunker, which straps them into an aviation type seat, five point harness, flip them upside down so they're completely disoriented, and then they have to release the belt and find their way out of an emergency exit. On the final day of the program, there is an optional portion of FACTS training, which is our air crew combative training. We have professionals come in to teach close quarter combat training in an aviation-based environment, so it's not roundhouse kicks out on a big open gym floor. It's within the constraints of the, of the simulator. The service training that we incorporate into our program allows us to take somebody who knows nothing about corporate aircraft whatsoever, come to our program day one, stay through day six, and learn everything that they need to know from a service perspective, safe food handling, the presentation of the food, etc., on through all of the emergency procedures that we train during the normal program, and then ending up with that specialty high-end service at the end of the program. High tea service, sushi service, caviar, vodka services anything that fills that niche regarding corporate travel and the things those passengers expect. Because of the serious nature of what we do, you've got to bring humor into it. This is what gets people through. These are highly stressful situations, things that we hope never happen to anybody, but yet we've got to prepare these people for it. And the best way to do that is to laugh a little. Our trainers are the best in the universe bar none. Uh, it's very hard to find good trainers for this industry because my requirements are them to be edutainers. They have fun in the classroom, they know their stuff, and they can impart that information on the students. Very impressive. Big round of applause for you from me. Nicely done. Air Care Solutions Group is in a very exciting industry and it's a privilege to be with a group of people that believe in what they do and are passionate about what they do. It all boils down to our people, both the headquarters people that make the inner workings happen and the trainers out there in the world that make enjoyable training happen. Without question, our, our single greatest asset are our people. Everybody that works for this company is an expert in the field that they discuss. When we talk about what we do with Air Care Solutions Group, it's not just about the training, it's not just about getting to the, the on-site facility and providing the training, it's the fact that the saving of lives through this prevention, this education, gives us a great sense of satisfaction.